Hello, in this episode of UI Builder Bytes, we're gonna take a look at creating experiences from App Engine Studio. Now, if you haven't heard of App Engine Studio yet, uh, it is a low code visual app development environment uh, where developers of all skill levels can come in and create an app, uh, either from scratch or from a template. Uh, what we're looking at here is a really simple app that I've created uh, for managing work or managing work tasks. All right, it's got a couple of tables. Uh, it's got a work task table that's extended from our task table uh, and then a work type table uh, where we're going to manage some different types of work. Uh, you can see in App Engine Studio, I have this experience section uh, where I can add experiences, and this is where we're going to be today. And then I have an automation section uh, where I can add uh, different flows and, and do some automation in my app. Uh, and then we've got the security section at the bottom where I've created a couple of roles for fulfiller and requester uh, who are going to be able to access our different portal and workspace experiences. So I will go ahead and add an interface. Uh, when I hit that, it's gonna ask me what kind of interface I wanna add. Uh, so three of these are gonna give me UI Builder, I believe, and mobile uh, will give me the mobile studio uh, or, or help me build a mobile app. So we're gonna start with a portal because uh, I want my app, my work management app to have a portal where people can come in and uh, request that uh, I, I do work or my team does work for them. So let's hit begin. Uh, I can give it a name. Uh, so I'm just gonna call it work uh, because the name uh, directly affects the URL and I like short URLs. I've got two roles. Both of these roles uh, look good. So we're gonna assign both of these roles to be able to, to use this experience. How about work portal? All right, so it's creating the portal for us. All right, my experience has been created. Uh, it's uh, listed here under my experiences, and if I want to edit it, I can just come in here and click into edit, and I will get UI Builder opened up inside of App Engine Studio. All right, so uh, the page that opened first is this article page. Uh, there's not any currently any ordering. Uh, if you open up an experience, uh, which page opens when you open the experience in UI Builder? Um, but uh, wow, you can see that I think is that 10, we got maybe 11 pages created for us, uh, which is uh, a pretty nice uh, thing to happen. Uh, so we've got uh, all sorts of pages here. We're going to click into a couple of them. Uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail in this uh, in this demo, but if you you know are curious on what gets created and want to click around a little bit, uh, it is very easy to get a PDI, uh, get into App Engine Studio, create an app, and then create an experience based on your app. Um, so let's look at the landing page. Uh, so our landing page uh, has a search box here. Uh, it's got some styling in it already. Uh, it's got uh, some different uh, spots here. So for requests, uh, track your requests, uh, and some updated articles. Uh, so this is knowledge. Uh, and if I come in and take a look at, like, let's take a look at the hero banner, uh, or maybe I'm looking for main, uh, we can see that uh, there are some styles applied to this. Uh, and if we take a look at what this looks like rendered, right, so we, we can see that this is a pretty nice looking uh, landing page. Uh, it's a lot nicer looking than if I had just uh, created an experience through the back end and started uh, creating my portal. Um, you know, I have a nice header here. Uh, I've got a menu bar that has some options. Um, I've got the search box and the hero banner and some, some styling on the background. Uh, so it's given me this page that looks pretty good. I wonder if it works. Uh, so it does work, uh, right? So we've, we've already got this page hooked up. There are data resources on the pages. Um, I've got this uh, task record page here. Uh, so this is going to give you a really good starting spot uh, to, to uh, work with uh, your portal. Uh, if we just click on a few things here, <clears throat> right, so we've got a number of data resources already. Uh, we have a number of client scripts. 
Uh, we've got some client state parameters, right? So this is a fully functional portal. Uh, it's probably not gonna do exactly what you need it to do for your custom app, um, but uh, it's a fully functioning portal that gets you started. Uh, and it's also a treasure trove of information and examples if you wanna build something totally custom. Um, so, you know, we've got lots of different examples of uh, client scripts in here. Uh, and uh, there's just a lot of information uh, for you to pull from here. Uh, so that's the portal experience. Let's see if there's anything else. Uh, so we got that record page. I think I had clicked on um, a task and we got a record page there for task and request. Search page, login, all those things. All right. So that's our portal experience. And now I want to spin up a workspace experience. Uh, so from AES, uh, we have, you know, my end users need some sort of portal requesting experience, but then the people actually using my app need some sort of experience. So they're gonna get a workspace experience. Uh, so we've got something similar here, work management. Um, and we'll just call this, how about work space space? That feels uh, clever. So for this one, uh, we don't want the requester to be able to access this workspace. So let's get rid of that and hit continue. Uh, so this is uh, a little bit more uh, going on here. So work task is my primary table. This is gonna be what's being worked. And uh, work type is really a supporting table for this app. So I'm gonna leave it in the secondary tables. Um, I don't know if it orders this by uh, the order in which you created the tables, which I did create this one first, or if it just knows, hey, you extended the task table, that's probably your primary table for this app. It has been created. So let's hit done. And let's take a look at our workspace. Now, I think with the workspace, we're also going to get a few pages. So we have this landing page uh, that's really, you know, a standard workspace landing page. Uh, let's look at list here. All right, so we've got the uh, the my list page, and what's cool about this is I extended that table from task. Uh, so for my primary uh, my primary table in here, it it uh, gave me some different lists already. Uh, whereas if I had not extended work task from task, uh, it would just show me all uh, because it it knows if it's if it's extended from task. It has a state field, um, and the state field has some default values. Uh, so let's take a look at this. All right, so we do know the open, so it, it got that right, active is true. We've got some other things here. Uh, so anyway, I get, uh, you know, I've got these, uh, the tab sets uh, up top. Uh, I've got the tabs that work over here by default. Um, so that's a, that's a nice, uh, so that's a nice set of records that get created from App Engine Studio. Um, so this has been uh, creating experiences for Map Engine Studio. You can create both portal and workspace experiences. I would highly encourage you to get a PDI, uh, open up AES, create an app. Uh, we've got some great training on the developer site on how to really uh, quickly get started creating an app in a AES. Uh, but spin up some experiences, spend some time poking through them. Uh, there is a lot in these default experiences. Uh, so I know, you know, over the past couple of months, uh, people have asked me, uh, is there going to be, you know, default uh, portals and workspaces that people can work from? Uh, and uh, my answer was always just wait a little bit. Uh, so App Engine Studio is out now, and uh, there, there are these default uh, experiences you can both work from and just use as a reference as you're building your own. And thanks for joining today.